Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draft a bodice pattern with shoulder that's using the Natalie Bray method. For this, you need the following measurements. You need your waist, your bust, your length to waist, your chest measurements, your back measurement, shoulder measurements. I'm drafting mine just to the waist. If you're going to draft it all the way to your hip, then you would also need your hip measurements. So because I'm drafting mine to the waist, I have a short pattern paper and this is adequate for my length to waist, actually more than adequate. So make sure you have a wide enough pattern. Like I'm putting the front and the back bodies side by side because it's just easier and to make your life better drafting them side by side. And make sure you have a pattern paper that is long enough. So I'm going to start by drawing a border line across. This will serve as my top line. So we're going to start with the back pattern. For the back pattern, start by measuring a point 2.5 centimeters. In my case, this can this range is from 2 to about 4.5 centimeters, depending on your size. The method I'm using for this pattern is the Natalie Bray method. I'll leave the name of the textbook down below so if you guys are interested you can get it and read more on this method so i'm going to mark a point 2.5 centimeter below my top line and this will serve as my point o now from this point i'm going to go ahead and measure my waist measurement my length to waist in my own case that's 40 centimeters and now i'm going to take half of this measurement so that's 20 and add 1.5 centimeters so that will give me 21.5 centimeters and this will serve as my bust line now i'm going to take even half of this measurement again so i'll just fold my tape into two to get half of the measurement and mark that point and this point here is going to serve as my back line so this line here will serve as my back line then i'm going to go ahead and measure three centimeters below the point o and this will serve as my shoulder line so now go ahead and square all these points your waistline and your bust line should go all the way across because you're going to use these lines on your front bodies as well. While your back line and your shoulder line should only go about halfway through because these lines are only applicable for your back bodies. So after squaring these lines, I went ahead to label it so you guys can see it clearly. So this is my shoulder line, my back line, my bust line, I squared all the way across and my waistline as well. So the next step now is to take your back neck weight and for your back neck weight you're going to use a formula 1 over 8 times your bust measurement plus 2.5 centimeters then take half of whatever you get. So in my own case that's 6.5 centimeters so I'm going to go ahead and mark 6.5 centimeters on my point O. I hope you guys can see. Then from this point I'm going to take 2 centimeters above and mark that point. And that point is going to become my neck point so next connect the two centimeters you marked above down to the back width that you measured on your point O and I'm just gonna label this place NP that's neck point and now just go ahead and connect your point O to your neck point using a slight curve so after marking your neck curve you are going to go ahead and mark half of your back measurement and half of my back measurement is 16.5 that's your across back half of mine is 16.5 centimeters mark half of this on your back line and square this line across and below touching the shoulder line and the bust line now you're going to go to your shoulder line and mark your back measurement plus two centimeters so i'm just going to mark two centimeters from here and this point here is going to serve as your shoulder point, so just label that SP. Then on your bust line, go ahead and mark half of your back measurement plus 5 centimeters. So this would give me 21.5 centimeters. And this point here is going to be my underarm point. So on your shoulder line, mark half of your back measurement plus 2 centimeters. That will give you your shoulder point. And on your bust line, mark half of your back measurement plus 5 centimeters. That will give you your underarm point. So, next, connect your neck point to your shoulder point. Now, you're going to draw your arm O curve, connecting your shoulder point to your underarm point, passing it through, a, through an angle 3 centimeters from this point. This point where your, where your back line touches your bust line. So, you're going to draw a 3 centimeter angle out from this point. And connect your shoulder point to your underarm point passing through this back line here 
and through the three centimeter angle so just rule about 1.5 centimeter above and below your back line and you should keep your hand straight around this side so your hand should be straight about three centimeter around the back line that's why i said measure 1.5 centimeter above and below so connect your shoulder point to this point and curve it through this three centimeter and meet it at your underarm point so i'll go ahead to do that now now just go ahead and replicate what you have here down on your waistline and connect your underarm point down to this point here so after connecting this point mark two centimeter in at the waist and connect this underarm point to this new point that you marked and this is to give us the shaped underarm seam now you're going to go ahead to your shoulder seam that we drew here and measure what you have what you have should be at least one centimeter more than your actual shoulder measurement so in my case my shoulder measurement is 12 and what i have here is about 13 so i'm just going to measure half of this point that's 6.5 and take away five centimeters on both sides now you are going to draw your shoulder that so draw a line about seven to eight centimeters down we are going to leave about three millimeters above above this shoulder seam line so i'm just going in now to mark that now i'm going to rule a straight line this line is a bit parallel to the underarm curve And next, connect the point, the 0.5 centimeters in my own case, down to your dot to create your dot. So now connect your neck points to these higher points that you marked here and connect your shoulder point to the higher point by the right. So this is your new shoulder seam and this is our back dot. So we're going to move ahead to the front now. So for the front, our point O will start right from the top line. So you don't need to measure anything down. Your point O will start right from the top line. We already have our bust line and our waistline. So now we need to go ahead and draft our neckline, our shoulder line, and our chest line. For the chest line, measure four centimeters above your bust line and square it out. Now go ahead and measure 4.5 centimeters below your point O. In bigger people, this line will be four, will be four centimeters square this out for your shoulder line and now you're going to measure 7.5 centimeters from point o and this will serve as the base of your neckline in bigger people this should be about 8 to 8.5 centimeters so this is my shoulder line and this is my neckline down here four centimeters above my bust line is my chest line go ahead and measure again the width of your back neck in my case that's 6.5 centimeters so i'm just gonna mark it mark it on your neckline as well and connect it from your point o down to your neckline now you're going to draw your neckline curve going about three centimeters from this point the point where your the point where it touches your neckline create a three centimeter angle and draw your neckline curve now you're going to go down to your shoulder line and measure a point 16.5 centimeters long and mark that point on your shoulder line your neckline actually doesn't have to be this long so you can make yours way shorter now i'm going to draw a shoulder seam or a provisional shoulder seam since this is not the final shoulder seam connecting this point here that you mark on your shoulder line up to your neck point your front neck point and make this line about 22 centimeters long now we're going to go down to our bust line and measure a quarter of our chest measurement in my own case that's 7.75 centimeters so i'm just going to mark that here now go two centimeters below this point and you're going to connect this point here two centimeters below all the way up to your shoulder seam so connect this point, draw a parallel line, a straight line, connecting this point to your shoulder seam. Next, go ahead and mark two centimeters away from this new line that you just drew, the line that you connected from two centimeters underneath your bust line to your shoulder seam. Mark two centimeters away from that line. 
on your shoulder seam as well and I'll connect this new point that you just marked down to the two centimeters you marked underneath your bust line I hope I'm not confusing you guys please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below if you find it helpful now this is going to serve as our inner shoulder dart leg so you're going to go ahead and measure the size of your dart in my own case that's seven centimeters but this differs varying on your size your individual size so connect this new point that you marked seven centimeters in my case down again to the point underneath your bust line and you can see we're already creating our shoulder that so this here i'm just going to mark it with red pen so you guys can see is my shoulder that the point i am cancelling out now it's time to complete our shoulder seam so we need to determine our shoulder point to determine your shoulder point you are going to add your shoulder measurement to your dart size to your dart measurement so in my case my shoulder is 12 centimeters i'm going to add these seven centimeters that i marked out for my dart to that <laughs> dart to that yeah i'm going to add my dart measurement to my shoulder measurement so that is 12 plus 7 19 centimeters now from your neck point go ahead and mark out 19 centimeters on this provisional shoulder seam that we marked earlier and this point here is going to be my shoulder point so now I've gotten my front shoulder point. On your chest line, go ahead and mark out half of your chest measurement. But make sure you add the space that the dart has taken. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure. In my case, my dart took 2 centimeters. So 2 centimeters plus half of my chest, which is 15.5 centimeters. That will give me 17.5 centimeters. So I'm just going to mark it here. And this right here is my chest point. So I'm just labeling it chest point. On your bust line, to determine what you're going to mark, go ahead and measure what you have on your back bust line. In my case, that's 21 and half centimeters. Now you're going to add five centimeters to half of your bust measurement. And the reason why you're adding up, and the reason why you're adding five centimeters to half of your bust measurement is because we are working on half of the pattern. You are either going to cut this on the fold and cut this so and cut two patterns for this but yes this is half of your body so now you are adding five centimeters as is because your the because you can't just sew your garment to be your exact size you need ease of moving in your garment so in my own case half of my bust measurement is 42 centimeters i'm going to add five centimeters that will give me 47 centimeters now I will mine off the 21.5 centimeters I got on the back bodies from that total measurement. So that's 47 minus 21.5. In my case, that is 25.5 centimeters. So go ahead now and measure whatever you get on this line, on your bust line. And if you notice, our dart took just a little bit from the bust line, but this doesn't matter because you know. You've added five centimeters and that will take care of whatever you lost or whatever you lose from this point this point here is going to serve as your front underarm point next connect your shoulder point to your chest point and draw a straight line just draw a short straight line just up to the bust line perpendicular to this chest point we need this to draw our arm or curve now you're going to mark a 1.5 centimeter angle from this line where this perpendicular line joins the bust line mark a 1.5 centimeter angle and go to your shoulder point a chest point line that you drew get half of that point mark it and go mark one centimeter away from that point towards your center front so just mark one centimeter, a one centimeter point inward. This is to help us in the curving of our armhole. Now connect your shoulder point to your chest point, curving it through this one centimeter point. And now connect this chest point to your underarm point, passing through this 1.5 centimeter angle that we drew, that we marked. 
but when drawing this second part of your underarm curve you are going to dip it slightly just below the bust line before connecting it to the underarm point i'll show it to you guys when i'm done so you can see i've connected it and i dipped it slightly underneath my bust line just before it touched my underarm point so this is my front arm curve measure whatever you have here on the bust line and replicate it at your waistline go ahead and connect the two points together then draw two centimeters inside this line to get your shaped underarm seam so we're almost done the next step now is to calculate our waist reduction so now to plan your waist reduction measure what you currently have on the waistline of your pattern now you're going to go ahead and calculate half of your waist measurement since we're working on half of the pattern so half of my waist measurement is 33 centimeters now add two centimeters to that for ease so 33 plus 2 centimeters that's 35 centimeters so after calculating my waist reduction after minusing what i after minusing my waist plus 2 centimeters from what i have here i have an excess of 8.5 centimeters that i need to get rid of like so there are some standard points that you can take away from you can take away from your center back from your center front and then you can take away more from even your side seams but you can't you shouldn't take away more than two centimeters from your center back you shouldn't take away more than one centimeter from your center front and you shouldn't take away more than another one centimeter from your side i hope you guys understand so now i have 8.5 centimeters to work with i'm going to take away three centimeters from my front waist dart because my front waist dart can take up to three centimeters and two centimeters from my back waist dart because again it can take up to two centimeters so that is three plus five three plus two that's five so the remaining 3.5 centimeters i'm going to take away from this other point so i'm going to take 1.5 centimeters from my back and this would also help in your back being fitted when you're having a fitted dress with zip eye to prevent the bulge that you notice in some cases five centimeters from my back i'm going to take one centimeters from my center front so that is 2.5 centimeters and I'm going to take a further 0.5 centimeters from my side seams, from the two side seams. So for the center back, I'm going to connect this new point up towards my back line. Just so it blends in my back line. For the side, I already connected this, connected it towards my underarm point. I'm just going to connect, go in again with a curve so I can get a more curved underarm seam towards the bust. Now I'm going to go in at my front side seam and connect it using a, using a, a French curve so I can get a more curved underarm seam. So after doing that, the last step is to connect the one that we took away from the center front towards the chest line just blend it in nicely so now that we've taken it out of the fixed reduction point i'm going to go ahead and plan my waist dart so to plan my waist dart i'm going to take quarter of my chest measurement from this new point here in my case that's 7.75 and just mark it before planning my front waist dart i'm going to measure four centimeters below this bust line and this will serve as my true bust line so i'm just going to mark that and now i'm going to come two centimeters below this true bust line just two centimeters below and connect this point here to my to my waistline too so now that i'm done with this it's time to create my waist dot so for the front, I'm taking away 3 centimeters. that's 1.5 centimeters on both sides. So now I'll connect it up here. I'll connect it up to this point to create my dart. So my front waist dart is done. To create my back waist dart, I'll mark quarter of my back measurement. So that's 8.25. 
I'll roll this line about 13 centimeters up, connect the two points together, and next I'm going to plan one centimeters on both sides and connect it to form my dart. So this is my back waist dart. So I'm just going to mark all the dots with red lines so you guys can see and all the waist reduction points. But there's just one last thing we need to do. We need to finish up the shoulder dots on the front bodies. So to do this, you're going to close your dots, folding it underneath towards the center front. So I'm just going to close my dart now. I hope you guys can see. Now, after closing it, go ahead and redraw your shoulder dart line you can see it's no more a straight line so just go ahead connect these points here to your shoulder point once you close this go ahead and rule your new shoulder seam if you have a tracing wheel you should trace through this so that when you open it up you can go ahead and finish up your shoulder seam but because i don't have that i will just use my tape measure, measure what I have here, hold it down and pivot it to get what my shape should be. Now I'm going to connect these points together. So by the time I close this and sew it together, I'm going to have a nice straight seam. I'm just going to extend this up here as well. And I have my new shoulder that's so the last thing you need to do is to extend your waistline on your side seams by 0.5 centimeters. So I'm just going to go in and do that on the two side seams. So extend your waistline by 0.5 centimeters and extend it by one centimeter on the center front. And this is because our waist isn't a straight line, it's more like a curve. So this would help to correct that. So now. You are going to connect this point here, this point 5, connect it to the 1 centimeter on your center front. Just going to go in with the red pen so you guys can see. And I'll connect my center back to the 0.5 centimeters that I measured here. So I'll go ahead now to extend my dart lines. So after doing this, you can now cut. Please guys, don't make the same mistakes I do. This is my front bodies and this is my back bodies. If you guys noticed, I didn't cut out my waist reduction point. This is because I like to have the freedom to do with these blocks as I wish and will. So if I want it, if I want to sew a loose top, I can use it as is. If I want it to be tight, I can just always for, um, remove this point from my fabric after marking it out. So you can go ahead and remove this if you like, but I would advise just leave it like this so you can have the freedom to do whatever you want with the block so in the next tutorial or in the coming tutorials i'm going to be showing you guys how to manipulate this that point like basically how to move them around to get different that positions so you can move this that here to the front move this one here to your underarm point basically it's going to be really really interesting so if you are still yet to subscribe at this point what are you waiting for just hit the subscribe button and see you guys in the next tutorial